so you two are two very successful people in your acting careers. Stop. <laughs> no, no, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> you are also two very successful married men with children. So yeah. for relationship advice. <laughs> Are you, are you asking Jensen or Dean? <laughs> Very different. Uh, what kind of advice are you looking for? Relationship advice. <laughs> Specifically, relationship. <laughs> with your, with your dog? Really. With your dog? <laughs> with all the same. With your mother or with your... I mean, what? Oh. <laughs> hey, look, the people have mom issues. So, my question is, how do you get the attention of the person you like? How do you get them to like you back? Well, if you're Jared Padalecki, this is what you do. <laughs> you you be you be you be your wife. But but pre your wife. Can I have some romantic music, fellas? <laughs> this is a book. What you read? A book, leave me alone. <laughs> so, I read books. Sure, sure. I, sure. I do, I do, I read, I read okay, books. Okay, okay, I'll go on a date with you. Oh, okay, 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 thank you. <laughs> I was playing a much taller version of my wife. Uh, it's funny you should ask that. Um, I would give, in all honesty, I would give the same um, career advice as I would f uh, relationship advice. And that is be yourself. Because you, the person who you think you might want to like you, probably day two you would Pray that they stop liking you. you know? <laughs> Let it happen organically. Be who you are. That's the only thing you have that nobody else has. And somebody loves it. I love that. Woo! I, I, I was single for a while, and I was trying to figure out who I was, and I was trying to be... I'm not trying to be fake or, or be something I wasn't, but I wasn't completely comfortable with who I was. Um, and so the relationships I had when I was that form of Jared were fun and fine and great, but it wasn't lasting, right? And finally, I sort of came to terms with who I am, and then I found somebody who, who dug it, uh, and I, I dug her back. So. <laughs> That's like bring them to a supernatural convention. If they still like you after that, boom, you're in. You're what? <laughs> Do you go by Jen or uh, the Genevieve? <laughs> <laughs> the Vive. <laughs> I call his wife the Vive for the longest time. Uh, like, hey, are you and the Vive coming over? <laughs> I think we called her the Vive when she started the show. She didn't know what to make of us because she's little. And we're like these two six foot Texan dudes, like, hey, the Vive. And she's like, I think, that, I, think it was a, I think it was the first thing I said to her was, so it's it Genevieve, is it Jen, is it, is it Jenny, is it, is it Vive, is it the Vive, is it Genevieve, what is, I'm going to go with the Vive. I didn't give her a chance to. So anyway, yes Genevieve. Okay, so I was a fan of Country Hill long before I ever watched Supernatural, so I, my family, we all know Danielle before we knew you. Um, so like in my family, I'll go home from a convention and they'll be like, you know, Jensen did this, and they're like, which one's Jensen? I'm like, Danielle's nothing. Um, so it's kind of an interesting so change. So if you say Jared did this, you'll be like, Danielle's not husband. No, I'll say Paul one. <laughs> <Danielle's not even. laughs> um, so my question is, if you could create a character for Danielle to come on the show as, because obviously Genevieve's been on the show. Uh, what role would you have her on the show as? Because I love her very much. 
Me too. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, knowing her as well as I do, I think it'd be uh, she would have more enjoyment of playing a, a evil character. Yes, yep. so good at it. <laughs> um, tread lightly. Yeah. <laughs> My wife already played evil character. It's the evil ones that are the nicest in real life. Um, wow, thank you. <laughs> Count it. <laughs> and it was. It was too. Um, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, I think it would be something in, in the lines of uh, some kind of omnipotent power of, you know, badness. Of, of badness. I, you know, I, I, the darkness is, is certainly, uh, Amaro it was, is a great character, and I think that, uh, I hope that that kind of pans out to be as, as good as I think it could be. Um, that would, something kind of in that vein, I think would be great for, for my wife, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, What's so up? I just watched 10 Inch Hero, where you Woo! play Chris. And I wanted to- rock star time. I wanted to know, did you know your wife? Have y'all, had y'all met before y'all filmed that? Whoa, or? whoa. Sorry. <laughs> innocent question. Follow up to that. My ass, innocent <laughs> question. <laughs> Not only did I know her, her not only did I know her, he knew her. Hey, let's not talk about it. I'll just say it. Um, yes, I did know her. We were friends, and we were actually, we were, we would actually uh, carpool to work. And that's kind of when the romance started, was in the car on the way to work. So, how, are you? how do you feel about her nude scene in that movie? I, I'm fine with it. I thought it was too short. Which is what she said. <laughs> yep. Will somebody turn this off so I can see? Nashville one, Jared zero. Nashville two. <laughs> Let's keep count. Uh, yeah, you know that was that was her decision to make, and I. I, I was fine with it. Now I can go back and look and be like, yep. I locked that down. <laughs> my, my, my favorite kind of uh, uh, off camera, not my favorite, but one of the funny things is the guy that her love interest on the, the, the douchebag, what was, what was the character's name? Of? Tad, yeah. Uh, so in the, in the film, he like beats me up or like punches me and knocks me down or something like that. And I remember before we shot that scene, he comes up to me, he's like, dude, I just wanna let you know, only in movies could somebody like me do this to somebody like you. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? And he was, I mean, he was, he was a little guy. He's like, that's still a big guy. We're just really big. <laughs> like that's still a big, but he like, he like wanted to make sure he's like, I, I mean, I know you could kick my ass if you wanted to. <laughs> It's like, so, Please don't. I mean, but, but, yeah, it's just like, this is just for, this is, this is make believe. This is just make believe. I'm like, dude, I get it. I'll say that. I'm gonna um, kick your ass because you were in bed with my future wife. <laughs> no. We, uh, I think, so we both grew up in Texas. We both still live in Texas. And as you know, here in Tennessee, kind of very classical values. And then we married like the strongest Italian women who were like, hey, I'm gonna do this. And we're like, yes, ma'am. So, so in a sense, we're both feminists because we get that women are freaking powerful. And when our wives make a decision, it's a decision. And it's a cool experience. And do your thing, girl. Okay. Hi. Hello. Um, so I was wondering how often, if any, or if ever, do Dean and Sam 
kind of bleed over into like Jensen and Jared. Like if you're, you know, ever in traffic and someone's driving slow and you're like, move, son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, just last night, we went uh, to, to Tom's birthday party, and I ordered a steak, and it was a little dry, so it was, Jensen, salt! Gun! Salt? Gun? Salt? Um... <laughs> That's a good question. Steak! Uh, you know, I would say it's probably more likely for... Jess and Jared to cross over into Deep the Sam that it would be the opposite, but uh, um, there have been times, there have been times, I think I've said this once before, that there's sometimes when I get called out by my wife, she's like, don't talk like Dean. <laughs> don't use that voice up in here. That's... <clears throat> and then there's other times where she's like, do it like Dean. <laughs> She was a big Gilmore Girls fan, it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> we don't talk about it a lot, guys. Jen is over there texting Daniil going, oh, we, we need to think about an out. <laughs> We married idiots. So. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you very much. I love you guys. That's a good Love you, brother. Hi. Hi, I'm Jennifer from San Antonio. Yes. <laughs> Since it's Valentine's Day, I was hoping that each of you could tell us of the, about the most romantic date you've ever taken your wives on. Well, I can't tell you the entire story. <laughs> Why not? We've already gone down that road. <laughs>
hit it on the head with uh, our honeymoon. We had a, a fantastic honeymoon, and I think that was one of the best romantic times that she and I have ever had. Uh, which you know was great because that's what it's supposed to be. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I think that since then it's been it's been the unscripted moments that really stand out to me. Those I think that's what really makes a relationship too. You know, is is the uh, the spontaneity of it. Uh, those are the best moments. That's right. Thanks. Thank you. Um, hi, my name is Victoria, and I'm from Vegas. And <laughs> and um, I just wanted to say that I'm a huge fan of your show, and you guys are part of what makes the show really great. And <laughs> and um, I recently got my husband to start watching the show as well. And my question is for Jared and Jensen. You guys are both happily married, and I noticed that many people have a hard time explaining how they know their significant other is the one, the one they're going to spend the rest of their life with, the one that they want to be with. And so I wanted to ask you guys, how did you know that your current, who you're with now? <laughs> Jared, Jensen, when did you first meet your future ex-wives? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I get what you're trying to say, thank you. Um, I, uh, I guess my current wife. Uh, <laughs> it's still over. So, I, uh, I, you said something kind of uh, amazing in your question which is that a lot of people have a tough time or a difficult time <clears throat> explaining to their significant others or to themselves what it is. And I guess I feel that I have no way to possibly explain it to myself or to her. <clears throat> I remember that I had been in a relationship and I was single and I was like, I am not interested in getting a relationship. And then she and I went on a date and I was like, I can't go anywhere else. Uh, I'm not interested. So that's kind of what, uh, what started it for me. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I just feel like she makes me a better person. There are a lot of people that make you a better person, and so that's not enough, I don't think. Or maybe that's who knows. Um, I don't know, I can't really... If I could explain, I'd be a poet. Um, and I would love to be a poet, but... Um, she just makes me... Just tap me when you want me to take just... It's really difficult. It's really difficult. Um, she makes me feel safe. She makes me feel loved. Uh, when I'm in a position where I don't love myself, she, I know she loves me, you know? Um, she's just an awesome, awesome lady. <clears throat> um, I, I kind of feel like there's two types of people uh, in regards to, to marriage and finding the, the, the one. Uh, it's the ones that just abs just know with an absolute and have a, have a certainty of like this is the one for me unequivocally. And then there's those who are you know I don't know I'm scared but I'm willing to take that leap of faith with you. And I kind of I kind of found myself somewhere in between both of those. And uh, and so it, it can be a scary endeavor uh, and it can it, and it will certainly have its ups and downs. Uh, but I think it's a, uh, it's a bond and it's a connection and it's a friendship and it's a ride and it's a journey that, uh, if you're willing to, to stick it out with one another, uh, can be an amazing, beautiful thing. And, and I'm glad that I, I picked the partner and the team that I have, so, Hi, I just wanted to say I'm really new to this and this is an incredible experience. But I want to say, on behalf of everybody, thank you to your wives and your families for sharing you. And I really don't know too many women who would be so willing to share their husbands with so many women. I don't know about that. But uh, yeah, honey, you need to go for the wedding. Have a good time. Go right ahead. Push truly, yourself out the door. You all are, must be married to the most amazing women to support you in this and to give so much of their family time to us. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, we, we certainly, uh, what is it? We, we certainly married out of our pay grade. <laughs>